Good morning, folks. After the news yesterday, I put on my Superman outfit to fly up into space and do battle with that galactic gamma wave coming to kill us all. It was a hard-fought battle, but he won't be bothering us anymore. You're welcome. Anyway, as if the observers' minds aren't already on earthquakes, today's show won't do much to stop that. We've got alerts following four shocks in some top viewer locations, including the U.S. West Coast, but we'll begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're checking out the last 24 hours on our star, and it leaves much to be desired if you're one of the folks who likes stellar fireworks. No solar flares, no big ejecta, no sunspots, even just the coronal hole. And speaking of which, the last coronal hole stream is ending at Earth is purple, the plasma speed begins to drop out, and I believe we do finally have a day or two of breathing room without much chance for geomagnetic instability. The next stream is two to three days away from that central opening there, it, of course, sets an elevated earthquake scenario as it faces Earth, and the activity has already begun. Let's start with the volcano, actually, down in Peru, Sabancaya. One hopes these release a good deal of pressure, but then again, blot echoes continue there after the eruption. Then we come to the United States. Either our government went on a flurry of testing new types of bombs overnight, or Nevada destabilized. Three magnitude 5 earthquakes since we last spoke, and yet another four-pointer north of the Mendocino Junction. Now, while these were not blot echoes, they were the type of foreshocks that allowed us to predict the December 8th California earthquake, and just like then, an earth spot is set to form and run right at Cascadia, should bend towards Vancouver, and we're watching closely today. Then we go across the pond and into Eastern Europe, where Romania took a fairly large seismic event for that country, not used to those, and that one struck the mantle as well, which matters because an earth spot churns and is set to intensify due south near the earthquake-prone Greek islands. Next, we're in South Australia, where deja vu from early November when a storm ripped through and took out power to thousands. This system is dropping southward, but its convergence line still reaches up over the land. Folks, we've got more free resources than you could run through in a day, plus we very much appreciate your support and memberships at suspiciousobservers.org. We're going to go through the pressure and radar forecasts, reminders, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.